Over 80% of EasyJet flights take off on time every day. But no matter how efficient an airline tries to be, some problems are beyond their control, as Supervisor Leo Jones has just found out. Air traffic control has gone down at the moment. Both the computers have all crashed. All of our slots have been thrown out, and we haven't got a slot out of here until 2100, which is in about five hours' time. There are 21 EasyJet planes carrying 3,000 passengers due to fly out. But with no air traffic control for the whole of Britain, no one yet knows how many flights will be able to leave. Chaos is looming. This call is to advise all passengers travelling with EasyJet. Air traffic control has currently gone down. Next information is expected at 1800 hours. Thank you. So that's gone everywhere now, so at least we're all singing the same sort of thing. It's not going to be a very nice day. <laughs> As passengers begin to build up, dispatcher Jane Bolton has been called in to help out. Well, one of you on the 1840. Probably more than likely you'll be hanging around a little bit, I'll be totally honest with you. It's, it's the ones that are likely to go within the next 20 minutes that are, are going to go. Yeah. Air traffic control system's gone down, so at the moment we've got a couple of flights that are ready to go because they've already got their flight plans in their hands, so you know the route they're taking and everything. And without ATC giving you flight plans and routes along the way, you, you know you've got no radio contact. You've only got your radar, so until ATC is up and running again, nothing can go. Back at Luton, some flights have managed to take off, but there are hundreds of passengers whose flights are grounded. They've now been stranded at the airport for four hours and there's still no indication when air traffic control will be up and running again. Yeah, I've got a four-year-old son that needs to go to sleep. We've been travelling all day. We've just been dropped off at the airport, and now we can't get anywhere. If I don't get back to Perth, then I'll not have a day's work. So it's loss of earnings per day. Leo has news on two flights to Scotland. It's not good. OK, the 087 and the 021, this flight's been made non-operational, which means that we, we don't have a service to operate these flights this evening due to air traffic control systems uh, failing. So, is there any alternative, or, like Glasgow or anything like that? Can we are not allowed to do any transfers from here now. All flights in the UK have been grounded. We've quietly. Please be quiet while I speak. We've sat very quietly and patiently waiting to see what's happening and now you tell us you're going to reimburse our money, you can't give us hotels, you can't give us coaches to take us up the road. It's really not good enough, is it? And we're not going to get... It doesn't matter about air traffic control. We're your customers, we keep you in the air. It's your responsibility. Which we're giving you £50 compensation. In Luton, Leo's day isn't getting any better. He's already told passengers heading to Scotland they're going nowhere. Now it's time to update the Amsterdam passengers on the latest air traffic situation. OK, this flight has unfortunately been made non-operational. Uh, you won't be going this evening. Are you the only one here who's We're sort of checking all that, are you? In operations. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what are they doing? The flights are full. I know. I don't fly a plane. I can't Yeah, but what happens if you book your flight with you? Excuse me, you book your flight with you and you book your hotel, you've still got to pay for it. You can transfer your flight to any destination on the EasyJet network. I will point this out now. No staff member here is going to be faced with any abuse. If any of my colleagues are faced with abuse, you will be arrested. We are doing our best to help you. In order for us to do that, you need to cooperate with us. Your flight's been cancelled. Can't you just get us a flight for the morning? There is no flights tomorrow morning. Air traffic control have cancelled our slots. You're rubbish. You're a liar. I'm not a liar. She's a liar, then. I'm not talking to you again. OK, ladies and gentlemen, travelling to Amsterdam, air traffic control has, I can assure you I'm not lying, has gone down, which means we cannot operate safely without air traffic which means we have had to make this flight cancelled for your safety. <laughs> the next flight. When is the next flight? We just want to go in order to for you to change your reservation. Leo is well and truly in the firing line. Which is 87060 million. Why should we fire? You mucked up. You should be on Forest. Forest. Can you do it for us? We have already made. But why did flight 217 okay, take Guys, off? at the moment, I am trying to help you. Well, you not it it you're helping the company. Get someone senior. Get someone senior. Get two junior. Send do it for us. I gave you a number. Okay. Oh. 
It's not one of his better days. I will, I will walk away if this continues, and I will basically not deal with you, and you can fend for yourself. I'm losing a thousand pounds on my home reservations. But what are you going to do for us? I mean, we've sat here for five hours. What can you do for us? And it's not phoning your reservation line. At Luton, after eight hours of mayhem, things have finally calmed down for Leo. The hundreds of passengers whose flights have been cancelled have had to accept they won't be flying anywhere. It's the end of a difficult day for both Leo and Jane. The worst moment was probably definitely that Amsterdam flight when I had to initially announce to them that their flight had been cancelled. But it did cross my mind, what would I do now if everybody just jumped on me? Because they do complete, completely surround you. But considering everything was cancelled within... I have to say, I thought that they would be more understanding than they was, because it's all... <laughs> Your flight's cancelled. Thanks very much. <laughs>